Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh. Uh, just doing a weekly update. Um, this is where my tomato plants used to be. I'm going to set these uh, containers back up. I've already cleaned them with bleach and everything. Got them all prepped and ready to go. This time around, instead of using these little pumps here, these little Walmart pumps, uh, to aerate the water because um, the the roots seem to like grab hold of the uh, um, the root or the stone, the air stone, and kind of limit the movement of water in it. So next time, since I have two holes in these things, I'm going to put two 12-inch air stones on each side to super aerate the water. And then this puppy here is what I'm going to use as my pump. It's a commercial grade. It's got a six manifold system, as you can see on there. I'm going to put two per container. So this sucker's going to be pumping a ton of air into this thing to where the water's going to always stay aerated, always stay moving so that none of the roots go into root rot. And hopefully that'll keep my plants from growing that fungus thing that it had before. So wish me luck and hopefully sometime this week I'll get it started. I don't need to get it started this week because I what I did was I have my, uh, um, my light here over my uh, plant uh, growing greenhouse thingy. And I can look this thing up so you guys can see. It's got a heating mat under it and it's heating these suckers up. So there's my uh, tomato plants I'm going to transplant over there. So I might wait till they get a little bit bigger and then move them over just, you know, for the sake of simplicity. So this greenhouse thing has worked really well. And uh, I put it underneath the light because uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my grape seedlings back in the very back there, they haven't sprouted up yet except for one. One has sprouted. And that's that sucker right there. There are going to be grape vines for making wine. I'm going to use the front part of my property. I've got an acre to grow uh, uh, grapes. And then I also started hops so I can make my own beer. i got a hop plant started in there in a pot that I'll transplant outside once summer comes. It's always good to start them early winter and there's more hops there, more there, and more there. You have to plant them outside because they can grow up to 18 feet tall. So you have to trellis them like you would vines. And I've got a hill where I'm going to be growing my grapes and these at. So hopefully that hill will be good water. Um, the, the water will run and drain very easily there because both grapes and hops don't like a soggy soil. So that's that. And I've got uh, some Buchalokia peppers started. The seedlings came up. And those are mostly Buchalokias there. And then I have four in this container here that are still kind of doing the greenhouse thing. Apparently, peppers like to have sun to germinate. So I put them underneath here to finally get them to germinate. And I've got my lettuce plants here, just chilling, and strawberry plants. And uh, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me if they need pollinating, because I've tried to pollinate them in, with a, like a Q-tip and a cotton ball thing getting in the flower and it like there's no pollen that gets on it and like I give them a shake and whatnot and that's what the flower looks like there it actually does look like a strawberry just the, the, the tip of it so and they're not the the buds of them aren't falling off and dying at all but I don't know like that one's one flower that may come in I'm not really sure they this is all really confusing to me how strawberries work and whether or not I need pollination and how to pollinate so if you guys have any suggestions with that let me know I've got my micro toms here on my windowsill unit they're doing fine surviving I got my basil and before I was doing my basil and I would just cut the leaves off and set them on a paper plate and let them dry so that I can crush it up and use on like pizza and stuff but apparently you're not supposed to do that because they can get some kind of bacteria infection on the leaves and they can kill you. So if you guys have any information on uh, basil and how to dry it out so that I can store it for, you know, making ba using basil and oregano on pizza and stuff like that, let me know because that's primarily we, what we use our basil for. So just fill me in if you guys got any suggestions on that. Um, the green bean plants, they're doing all right. They haven't really grown much. Uh, these five-gallon buckets really aren't working so well. There's just not enough water movement and aeration in the water for them to really grow more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them outside. And uh, whenever spring comes and it's not snowing out, because there's snow on the ground out there, which really sucks. Once 
you know, it's it's good enough to, to put the plants outside. I'm gonna actually gonna transplant them into dirt um, and see how they do. That way, maybe they'll flourish and survive and whatnot. So, uh oh, Here's on the dog. Claudio, Claudio. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Um, here's another microtom here, a uh, watermelon that I'll transplant outside whenever it gets warm. I got some more microtoms and then another strawberry plant there that's still going really slow. And I've got some tomato plants. I cut down on the nitrogen and just do flowering now. And these plants aren't very big at all, like, but now they're not growing as much and there's little buds growing on them. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get that. That's a little bud there that's centered. Yeah. So there, it's already budding and not taking up a ton of room, as you can see, just this little container. I cut off the nitrogen once it got to a point where I didn't want them to grow any bigger, and now I'm increasing the uh, the flowering nutrient on them. So, yeah, so that's that. Then. Got my uh, tilapia down here, which you can't see them very well because the water's a little... I don't have any lights for them. There's some tilapia in there too that I moved in there. And I moved some tilapia into this tank as well. And these guys are doing pretty good. They're getting really big fast. So hopefully it gets warm enough here to where I can move them outside of my outdoor tanks. My grow bed, I'm still cycling water through it. Um, that way it'll grow bacteria base and I'm not going to like kill my fish. But right now I'm just going to keep this filter going so I can ensure that my fish will survive. And then this one here. Um, I've got a lot I'm going to change with this thing. Uh, first off, this thing doesn't drain very well. Roots are growing into it in this hole. So I'm going to probably make a stand pipe eventually and then have it so it can drain that way so it doesn't have so much problems. I'm going to probably move this container outside to work with one of my outdoor systems in you know, manipulate it so it'll work for that. Then I'm going to grow another one of these grow beds here, or I build another one of these grow beds here to fit along this wall here, so that I can. Uh, it's just I, I like this style better when I built this because it seems a lot more sturdier. This is a little bit more flimsy, so I don't know what I'll do with this tank yet. I'll probably get another 75 gallon tank to fit in this when I build another tank, and I might move this somewhere outside this room, but. Uh, my plants, they're doing all right. Tomatoes are they're growing more. They're getting a lot taller now that I pulled a lot of the radishes out and they're not getting starved of nutrients. Um, the broccoli is is still growing pretty crazy, um, even though they're like so close together. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to transplant all these outside in the dirt and they'll survive. If not, you know, oh well. At least I tried. And that way I can kind of try and still use the plants for producing and they're already on you know, a really good stage to where they can so I'll be I'll be jumping the gun with it if you will so and then uh, I got my pepper plants back here these I think they're either habanero or buchalokia plants um, I hear that peppers are self pollinating and I don't need to pollinate these flowers but every once in a while I'll give the plant a, sh a little shake you know to make sure that it's producing um, other than that, I can't really see any peppers growing yet. I just see flowers. <laughs> so if you guys got any suggestions on why I'm not seeing any peppers and just flowers, just uh, you know, let me know what you think I need to do to pollinate them. Because these are other plants that I, I like move the uh, move the flower, and I don't see any pollen at all. Like it's not. And I shake it quite a bit just to kind of get the pollen going if there is. But this is another microtom. Oh, bad camera skills. And that's flowering. So. I'll uh, keep you guys updated next week on what's going on with uh, the plants. I've got a water um, tank that I set up over here to store all my rainwater because plants like rainwater, not your tap water. So I'm going to use this sucker here to provide, it's 200 gallons plus 55 gallons that I have hooked up together. So this sucker is going to provide all my water for my plants. So I guess I'll talk to you later guys. Till next week, bye.